All right, so today we're gonna go through the ClearOS Service Delivery Network Portal, also known as the ClearOS Portal. So where you first need to go is to log in is clearos.com. Go to this Logins tab over here, and you'll basically just put in your information into this ClearOS Portal section. So once you put in all your information, you sign in and then you click Start Using. All right, so where it first takes you is kind of kind of a dashboard kind of place. And it'll show you your accounts, your clients' accounts, and any outstanding invoices that you have. So right now we currently don't have anything, but if you did have any clients that had exp expiring subscriptions, if you had any updates that needed to be renewed, then you would come in here and, and, and you would be able to see all of that. So what I wanted to show you first of all was basically how to go in and create and set up a new client into your account. So the nice thing about this portal is you're able to manage multiple clients under one account. So if you click on client list, you're able to see that I've got one, one client under my account right now. And how you're able to set that up is under the VAR services tab, you're able to click create client and basically set up an account for your own clients. Now, if you do need to delete them for any reason, there is a delete client button here as well. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna go into is once you have a client set up into your account and you want to transfer a subscription to them, first of all, we wanna go into how to purchase that subscription. So if you wanna purchase a ClearOS 7 Business Edition, you just go into the Purchase tab and click on ClearOS 7. You're able to select from Bronze, Silver, Gold, and Platinum. And for this case, we'll just click on the silver and basically just follow the add to cart steps. So you're able to uh, set up paid apps in here. So if you have a client that wants a static IPsec VPN for business, basically check that box and it'll automatically add that into your subscription and into the, into the final payment. Um, you can go through all these and select whatever, whatever applications they want. And then you'll click next. The next thing that it'll bring you up, bring up is the subscription-based support. So if they need extra support or additional support that's not included in their subscription, you're able to come in here and add that in manually and it'll add that. Um, it'll give you a little pop-up that says upgrade to business platinum because that is, that's the subscription that includes that type of support. So. You're able to come in here and set all those up, and it, like I said, it'll automatically update this price over here depending on what you want. Uh, once you click checkout, it'll give you give you the subscription, it'll give you the price, and it'll give you your discount. Once you complete the purchase setup, you're able to come in here under account, go to subscriptions, you're able to see that subscription right here. Now you'll see that the status right now is active and the assignment is available. So it hasn't been assigned out to any client's account yet. So if you wanna transfer that to one of your client's accounts, you're able to come into client list. I typically copy the username if it's something a little more difficult. Go back into subscriptions, click view on the account. And down here at the very bottom of the subscription, we've got transfer enter account username. If I put in my client's username and click transfer. It'll make you confirm. Now you'll see that this has been assigned to that client's account. So the nice thing about this is, is all the billing will be managed through your own account, the person who originally purchased a subscription, and you're able to see whether they've assigned it to their system or whether it's still available and not assigned to anything yet. You're also able to set up the auto renew feature here. So if they want it to auto renew every year, or every three years, however long they have a subscription, you're able to do that here as well. All right, so the next thing that we wanted to go into was, was how, to, how to manage the billing. So if you notice under the account tab here, we've got billing and invoices. So what this will show you is basically all of your invoices that you have paid and that will need to be paid in the future. 
if you want to renew a subscription beforehand, before it hits that expiry date, you'll go into the subscriptions tab and you do have this renew tab as well. Now when you click on renew, it'll take you to the payment method automatically if you have all of these automatically filled out. So you're able to select from a credit card, PayPal, account debit, purchase order, wire transfer, and you can also request for a quote in this option as well. So once you have that selected, you basically put in your credit card information, click select and follow all the, the confirmation uh, page, and then you'll receive a receipt at the end. Now that will allow you to, to renew your subscription for your own accounts and also subscriptions for your clients' accounts as well. If you guys want to do, if, you, if there are any clear boxes in your clients' accounts, you are able to manage those in here and see the clear box inventory. Um, if you have any need for clear care or if you need to submit a ticket to our technical support team, you're able to go into account and clear care. Here you can create a new ticket. If you need to purchase clear care, you can also come in here to clear care subscriptions and do a per incident support ticket, or if you want to do clear care annual subscriptions as well. Uh, the clear care annual subscriptions are, are basically included in the, in the clear West seven business edition gold and platinum packages. So you would want to look at those for, for any annual subscriptions that you or your client might need from our technical support team. Now, one, one tab that is exclusive to partners only is this bar services tab. So a normal end user won't have that. Um, the reason for that is it gives you customized reporting. Um, for regional partners, it will give you regional sales and regional activity. You can submit remote login uh, information. We have a Clearbox 300 partner exclusive tab that you're able to view as well. You're able to view partner badges and request evaluations. So, and as well, we went over the client list, create client and delete account. If you do want to manage uh, systems as well and see all the information on your client systems or your own systems as well, you're able to do a view the system summary. So if we click into Marketplace ACL, you're able to restrict specific accounts. It'll show you a list of systems and you're able to disable the Marketplace, disable free apps, disable user accounts, or the owner account. Um, you're able to delete systems, view system logs. Um, and here we've got system details. So you're able to see all of the system settings in this, in this area. If you want to look at all the system services, you're able to see what anti-malware updates have happened in the past, anti-spam updates, uh, content filter updates, basically all of the system services, you're able to see what updates they receive in this area. If you want to manage your own domain or if clients want to manage their own domains, you're able to do that in, in the ClearOS portal. Um, down here we've got the internet domain services. Here we've got the DNS records, and here we've got domain management. So this right here is the ClearOS portal, also known as the ClearOS SDN, or Service Delivery Network portal as well. So if you don't have a, clear, a ClearOS portal account right now, you're able to go to clearOS.com. In clearOS.com, click Logins, and there's the Sign Up tab right here. So when you click sign up, it'll take you here to where you can click on create account, able to put in your username, password, email, country, and time zone. And once you create your account, you're all set to go. And then you're able to log in. So thanks for joining us. And for more information, you can go to clearcenter.com and find out more.